Today, we are going to see about Prega platform application types. Application types are nothing but the design systems. Currently, as on 8.8, .8, there are two design systems. One is the traditional Team Cosmos design system. The another one is the new view-based, modern, prescriptive UI architecture-based Cosmos React system, which is Constellation. The first one is the theme cosmos, which is called as Cosmos Design. Second one is the constellation, which is called as Cosmos React. Cosmos React gives higher weightage to configuration over customization for easier development. It is more prescribed way of developing. For example, in if you see the UI kit. Say if you want to have certain columns in inline grid double, then what you need to do? You need to create a layout. You need to say change the container format or dynamic layout format to inline grid triple. You need to drag and drop each of the fields. And say if you want to change it to a stack, then you need to manually rearrange the fields or the layouts, nested layouts, section include. But in Team Cosmos, in the Cosmos design system itself, there is a templateized based sections wherein directly you can change from a two column to a three column or three column to a stack or zigzag or multiple such other inbuilt OTB templates. That's the benefit. Faster development, faster time to value, faster revenue. This is very important. Why? why Pega has shifted to the constellation design system. You see, first thing is prescriptive design rather than making configurations. Like the benefit of prescriptive is you can't go wrong. If you go with the OTB UI kit based development, then there are many possible chances of error. There are many probable high, it's high there is high probability that you might configure it in a wrong way because of which you might get some unexpected errors, runtime errors, not sporadic issues. But if you see the prescriptive design system, for example, the templatized sections, those are error-proof configurations. There is no way you can configure it wrongly. You can the way you can configure, it all, always works in the correct fashion. You can also configure in the app studio in a low code fashion. It is a view based architecture. It's a serverless architecture. It's a single page architecture. If you see in UI kit, you have in the dynamic container, in the portal, you can have multiple tabs. You can open multiple cases. Each case will open in a different tab. But if you see the Cosmos system, it is a single page architecture. You can always, if there is only one tab, there is you can all, always in the main panel you can open only one case so there is no distortion so the end user can strictly focus on one case at a time in one tab this single page web approach allows users to use standard web interactions and if we want to preview other cases still you can do from the light panel or the left panel but if we want to open it will be replaced the new case will replace the old case and it is a single page architecture. This is what is called a single page, single focus, single case at a time. Also, it has separation of concerns. It uses modern technologies. If you see the OEC, it is uses old HTML, old obsolete JSP tags, which are nowhere used now. But if you see the latest constellation of the Cosmos React system, it uses modern web standards. It uses React JS based runtime architecture. The constellation service, these, all these constellation applications rely on the constellation engine which uses React.js libraries to create a new runtime architecture. This constellation is nothing but a microservice that delivers React components and JavaScript code to the browser using DX API. To obtain configurations, context and data for the constellation application, the constellation client interacts with the server exclusively using the DX API. DX API stands for 
digital experience application programming interface a constellation application runs faster than a team cosmos application because constellation uses less javascript and less css it has much smaller payload so it requires less bandwidth to load loading times are faster it is more lightweight the dom depth is less the amount of code that is generated auto generated is less it is a, it has a more lightweight document object model dom rendering so you can see this naming convention to get more clarity on the terms we are we will be using throughout the course or these are the industry standard terms for paga technology so if you see the architecture whatever is the section based development you used to do right that is called as traditional ui architecture that is, so that is based on the qa kit and team cosmos so it use dx api v1 or traditional dx api v1 so this, there are some, there used to be some starter packs earlier they are called as dx starter packs now they are called as traditional starter packs if you see the constellation which is the cosmos react or the new version of the cosmos that is called as the constellation design system it uses dx api v2 or constellation dx api dx sdk is renamed as constellation sdk the cosmos react application in is going to be called as constellation application from the future to avoid this confusion between cosmos themes and cosmos react pega came up with this new terminology so coming to the benefits of theme cosmos over ui kit it has a new case preview panel improved search experience increased efficiency more, more prescriptive way because we are going to templateized sections rather than section based approach the ability to open and work with several independent sessions of your application that is also one of the important benefit we get from theme cosmos say for example you are creating a new application which one to decide if you are in, in acting as a lsa but though you are an ssa if you are acting as an lsa if the client asks how you will decide there are multiple factors to decide some of the factors are you need to see what, what is your built on applications if your built on applications are already using ui kit you cannot use team cosmos or cosmos react whatever your built on application uses say you are using some healthcare framework application from pega then you should also or you are using clm kyc then you should also use the same ui kit or theme cosmos or, or cos, whatever you were in built on application is using second thing is you just go through the implementation guide or the 8.8 release notes you check what or 8.9 or 8.23 whatever it is latest version go to the release notes what are the features required by the client what are the features have, that are because the cosmos react doesn't support all features because it's newly introduced even in 8.7 it's not even production ready 8.8 at least you can for small applications with small requirements you can at least go go on with cosmos react you need to check whether those features are required by your client if they are not if all the features are supported then only you should go for cosmos react if only some features are supported then you should go for team cosmos so you, you need to check for example i can give an a simple example temporary pages are not supported in cosmos react likewise there there are many other things which are not supported in cosmos react you need to take a conscious decision after going through all of this thank you